guys, my name is Nick Wong. I'm a 17-year-old student. I'm a junior at Kamehameha Schools. I'm a developer, aspiring entrepreneur, and I'm out here in San Francisco, the Bay Bridge behind me. We're excited for this week. I couldn't sleep last night. I was just like, my mind was just going. Um, like all, all the different opportunities that, that I, I feel like are going to be presented this week. There's so much more going on up here, like the opportunities up here, the fun, exciting stuff. I'm excited as a college trip to, to the Bay Area to look at Stanford and University of San Francisco. Um, it became much more than that. It became a trip to Google, a trip to LinkedIn, a trip to Facebook, and really a trip, uh, a trip for Nicholas um, to be the start of his career. Super excited this week um, just to talk to as many people as we can, just to kind of network and see what they do and their perspectives on like tech industry and how San Francisco is kind of shaping and moving the industry. I'm a program manager on the on the aerial imagery team. So basically, I just organize uh, where we should capture this overhead imagery. Wherever you do an internship, you're almost guaranteed a job there. So if you get a Google internship, you're almost guaranteed a job at Google. The importance of getting the work experience right at these companies really get, gets you in the door for a lot of these larger companies. You know, to say that you interned at Google or that you you interned at eBay is something a really uh, a resume booster. So I'm excited to have you here because one of the things that I'm most proud of is eBay of, for eBay is that we take our role as a custodian of technology of innovation very seriously. We spend a lot of time, not just here in Silicon Valley, but traveling the world, sharing information, partnering with other organizations, and inspiring new inventors and entrepreneurs like you. Firstly, your portfolio, online portfolio is pretty impressive for a high school student, so let's get that on the table right away. I want to know, what are you doing outside of your coursework? What you do on your own time tells me more about you as an engineer than anything ever else will. So as you progress in your career, be thinking about what inspires you? What purpose do you want to do in this world? And align the work that you do to serve that purpose. Knowing what you want, or at least having an idea of kind of what you want, so that you can ask the right questions. His willingness to help others, I think, is part of his strength. And his ability, right? Not just willingness, but like having the tools uh, and the whereabouts and creating abilities or creating opportunities and leveraging resources that he has, like coming to the mainland and talking to a bunch of really big companies and smart people, I think is super impressive. How do you create those connections and create those bonds um, in a meaningful way in today's technology? So these are our playbooks. These are each layer, so it actually does a lot of work. Nick is very motivated. Uh, I think he's a very smart kid, especially if he's taking up opportunities to make life for their, his classmates easier. Um, he seems like very interested in learning. So first questions he asks, like, how, how would I do that, right? So he's very motivated by learning, so that's a good thing. I think he's very driven. I looked at his uh, application, right? It looked really nice. And he, has, he already has like a lot of, uh, he already has a personal site, which a lot of engineers actually don't even have. Twitch is a platform for gamers that stream. Uh, it's a massive community. I mean, we're talking about, we get uh, hundreds of millions of monthly active users. Like your relationships are what will define your life. The opportunities that I got were because of friends. At the end of the day, like I know I wanna go home. Like my heart is at home, but so much opportunity up here. Like this wouldn't, this type of environment doesn't exist at home. Who knows, maybe what I can gain while I'm here, I could take that, you know? If I could, I don't know, like go work. If I can make my money here, shoot, I'll come back and focus more on education and maybe that's my path. The seed was planted at Twitch talking to Taylor, saying, you know, what, why, are you, what are you, why are you doing this all? Finding that my skill set can have such a big impact, you know? positive impact on the communities is like, I think a big aha.
When Nick mentioned the word breaking into tech as if it was a wall that needed to be broken down, uh, my take is with technology being so accessible, with mobile phones being in your pocket, everybody having access to um, tools to allow them to build stuff, I would say that it's not a matter of breaking in, it's a matter of picking and choosing this, you know, the space or uh, technology that you're interested in, um, mastering it, or becoming pretty good at it. Um, but generally, the first thing I would say is just getting started. You know, I wanted to break in to the industry, right? Um, Eric Nakagawa kind of blew my mind and broke that wall today. He said, what do you mean break in? You're, you're already in. And I think that, that amazed me. And so now the goal is, you know, get to college, network successfully enough so that I have a, I have a, I have a step right after college. We went so hard this week and so jam-packed at, at a fast speed that it was just like, I think we gotta reflect, you know. With a prominent tech headquarters, you know, within a square mile of each other, practically from, you know, San Jose all the way up to the Bay Area. It's like a mindset shift up here. I felt it. The three biggest things that was covered the most, right, were internships, networking, and self-awareness. Silicon Valley, you know, you're making computers and you're making tech with a bunch of logic and ones and zeros, but it's that human connection that, that really got a bunch of these guys ahead in where they are at. KS places these doors of opportunity for us, right? And they're, and they're, they're open already. It's just that we have to lean forward enough as students to you know, make that ask, send that email. And by doing that, we're, we're stepping through the door and we're reaping the opportunities. You know, I really want to like make some stuff, um, build, iterate, make some change in the one year I have, right? Uh, we talk about like, standing on the shoulders of those that came before, right? But, um, and kind of elevating the level and leaving my legacy in something that it's just not, I didn't come 13 years to the school and I left, but I came through the school for 13 years and I left something behind. You know, as a parent, you just kind of say, yeah, you know, I'm gonna just soak up that one more year. <laughs> and then let them go and hopefully that whatever tools we nurtured and you know supplied him and um, empowered him with with along with Tumibin schools um, that we taught them well and then now it's their time to spread their wings. I hope that once people hear the story and kind of my journey um, that you know they're inspired to to embark on projects similar but unique to their own story, so that they're writing their own narrative.